Hello, this is Dwayne, and I am not a financial advisor, but I love sharing the insights that have helped me build wealth and are helping me expand it for generations to come. Well, today, I want to talk to you about Tesla. I want to give you a little review of Tesla as we are seeing some tremendous things happening with Tesla this week, and I want to take a look into this company for just a moment so you can get an idea of what's going on with it. Well, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I'm putting up more great content just like this. My goal is to help 30 million people build and sustain a wealthy life. And to me, wealthy requires you to get out of bad debt, use good debt to build wealth, establish great credit with credit scores of 750 or above, then we've got to put an asset allocation plan in place. We're investing in stocks, crypto, real estate, artwork, the things that put income into our lives all while living an authentic life. If you'd like to be a part of that, I would love to have you come and join my Discord family, the Wealthy Life Masters. There'll be a link in this video. Come to my Patreon and get my Discord family. We'd be so excited to have you there as we are building wealth together. Well, as I said today, we've got some good stuff for you. Let's get after it. Well, like I said today, I want to talk just about Tesla for just a few minutes today as we are beginning. The markets are going to be opening up and I just want to just share a little bit because I think sometimes uh, people may not understand how this market works. And so, as we know, Monday, Tesla had a tremendous run up over a hundred dollars uh, increase in the price of the stock went over 1 trillion market cap and over a thousand dollars. And so I'm going to pick up looking at where Tesla ended the night on Tuesday, yesterday, and where Tesla ended at close on the 26th, it was down $6 and 43 cents. And in after hours, it was down another $4 and 53 cents to a final price uh, to start uh, the day on today of $1,013.90. Now, I want you to see this because this is very, very important because when I saw where Tesla was ending up on Monday, there are some things that I said in my video that I want to show you in the map. First of all, when we look at the, the map, first of all, I'm going to start at the bottom. If you know anything about the MACD, uh, for those who use the MACD as an indicator for them, you recognize that this black line being above that red signal line is a good indicator that price action is going in a positive direction. We see the 50-day moving average is greater than the 200-day and the price is above them both. So everything is moving in a great uh, direction and it looks proper in the chart. However, when you look at the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, you see that it is tremendously overbought. Now, on Monday, it was over 90. Right now, it's at 88.64, which tells me that it's a little overbought. It's a little hot. Now, historically speaking, when Tesla has been near 70 uh, on the RSI, it came down or, or went sideways for a little while but it never stayed at that 70 level. It would trade sideways. Now this time, back in the end of September, it was near 70, it traded sideways a little bit, and then we had major things happening uh, with Tesla with great increases. And as these increases began around October the 13th and 14th and 15th, we began to see uh, real real things happening. Great news with the Hertz 100,000 purchase uh, of Tesla vehicles, but we're in overbought territory. When you're getting overbought territory, it doesn't mean that the stock is gonna have a major drop. It does mean that there'll be a slight cooling off. And when there's a slight cooling off, uh, it, to me, 
because of where I see the MACD is, it is telling me that in this slight cooling off period, this is just giving you an opportunity to buy some more at an even uh, cheaper price. Now, there's some things that are very important that I want you to see about this company. And, and I just want to give you an idea of what is going on, what you really get when you get into Tesla. It's been an amazing decade long ride for Tesla. Um, the consumer discretionary stock debuted on June 29 of 2010, and it's up a stunning 21,323% since then to a new high Monday of $1,023.59. Tesla outperformed every single large stock currently in S&P 500, plus all those on the midsize S&P 400 and the S&P 600 small caps on a percentage basis. Shows an investor's business daily analyst of data from S&P Global Market Intelligence and Market Smith. Now, if you invested $10,000 with founder Elon Musk 10 years ago, your stake would be worth $1.8 million now. That works out to a more than 68% average annual return. The same 10,000 put into the S&P 500 during that time grew just 272% to $37,115. That's just 14% compounded annually. This is critically important. Now, the magnitude of Tesla's boom is almost difficult to fathom. Over the past roughly 10 years, Tesla's market value soared 1 trillion to hit 1.01 trillion. It's already the fifth most valuable company in the S&P 500 ahead of Facebook. This is amazing. And at its current value, Tesla's worth roughly five times more than Toyota Motor, making it the most valuable automaker in the world. I want you to see how, when we start talking about EV market and who is their competitor, they are the largest automaker in the world already in 10 years, a little over 10 years. What about General Motors and Ford? They're almost rounding errors. Tesla is worth roughly seven times General Motors and Ford combined. And that's no mystery for growth investors who know what to look for. So this is, this is serious. Now, when we look at Tesla, because of what took place on Monday, the analysts are thrown a complete curveball. They're upgrading, but I wanted to show you what some analysts were, because the upgrades hadn't all hit as of four o'clock on uh, Tuesday, they were saying 781.82. This was a downgrade of 23%, but, but they were saying to hold it. 12 were saying buy, eight were saying hold, and seven were saying sell it. This was before the Hertz deal came in. Not only was tip ranks saying, uh, downside. When you look at the Tesla price prediction on market beat, the price prediction was 695.83. It was a hold based on 33 ratings here. But again, this is a complete miss. This is a complete miss. When you look at what is happening with this chart, there is nothing in this chart to shows me like this is going to be a drastic come down. This is showing me that there's going to be a cooling period for a little bit, and then we're probably going to see another run. And so what is happening when you see these types of things going on? Sometimes things happen that people didn't consider. No one expected the Hertz deal. Now, Hertz is one of the top three largest rental companies in this country. Now, because they went EV, it is probably going to force Avis uh, to come and do the same thing. And if that happens, who do you think Avis is going to buy their cars from? Could you imagine if... Uh, Tesla got another large order of electronic vehicles from a rental car company. Now, what does this do? The rental car company now, if you rent a car from Hertz, once this starts to happen, you will have access to Tesla's charging stations and all the things relative to give the opportunity for you to test the vehicle. So it's a smart thing for Tesla to have Hertz doing this because now more people are going to get a chance to test drive their vehicle without having to make the purchase. And so this is going to spur more interest in the company. I'm saying to you, it is an absolute gold mine and we haven't even seen the best of it yet. The best of it is yet to come. You've got to hold it a long time. In 11 years, it is the largest auto company in the world. 
And I want you to understand this. These auto companies have been around forever. They've also been bailed out. And here comes a man changing the world. Now, not only did it go sway beyond Toyota, Elon Musk himself is worth more than Toyota now. As a person, he's worth more than Toyota. This is unbelievable what is happening with this company. So again, I'm saying to you, it is great position to keep dollar cost averaging in. If you are, it's gonna come down some. We're gonna have a cooling off. It's gonna come down some. You may see several days come down. It may go up because there's nothing about it except it's just overbought. Everybody jumped on the bandwagon and people were buying and buying and buying and not paying attention. And they were buying at higher and higher prices and it's gonna come down and you're gonna be able to buy it at a lower price again when it comes down. I, I believe you're gonna definitely be able to get it in the 900s, low 900s possibly a good place to get in uh, but from people who are going long term you just continue to dollar cost average yourself in and you're going to be doing exceptionally well with Tesla now I'm not a financial advisor I'm sharing with you what I'm doing I'm excited about this company for a long time to come I would never sell my Tesla stock because I really believe in the company and where it's going. And it is not only a game changer for EV, it's a game changer for the automobile industry forever. And when you change something forever, you're a pioneer, you're leading, and you're not willing to be controlled or stopped. And therefore, who knows what all is going to come out of this company as it continues to move the world towards electronic vehicles. Well, so excited to share this with you on today. Look forward to you having an absolutely great day. And I'll be back with you again shortly. You have a good day until then. I'll talk to you soon.